You spend a lot more time, a bit more of this nerdy time looking at the top 50s and like to peruse the social media pages to find out where your Sydney players sit and where certain players sit in the Don't AFL silly. and where Don't players silly. rated in the uh, by the fans and by the uh, by the journalists and the of course the I suppose the pinnacle of player ratings is the Herald Sun's uh, ratings, which has been done by Mike Sheen and now has been picked up for, by Mark Robinson since that baton was handed. But you've got a bit of a gripe with Robbo and his top fifty. No, certainly not well, you personally. Do. And, and, well, no, sure. No, you've got a gripe with, with his top fifty. The, the top 50s, um, and I love them, and back to Mike's years, of, of course, I mean, it's almost set the precedent of, of the, all the conversations, of course. It's a very, very big job. And the first thing I will say about it is it's all about context and, you know, what do you, where do you have it sit? In other words, if a player misses a few games, let's talk about Dustin Martin, for example... Um, you know, is it easy to exit him out of the top 50? The way I look at it is I get to the end of the year and you take injuries into account, you take or everything into account, but you've effectively still got to rank them 1 to 50. So you start with 1 and then you end up at 50, the best player, best player, best player. Now, you know, for example, like in Dustin Martin's cap, what do you? How many did he miss? What did he miss? The last six, seven? He missed the last six. Now, before, before you get into the into Dusty, because yes. I want I want to preface yeah. this. So this you are going to be. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask you to give me a thought okay. of you. Right. Is it so one to fifty? You going the best players that had that the best season, or are they where they still rank as the players you think they and are? And that's the question. In fairness to, in this case, Robbo, who does them, that, that is the, the really under, underlying question. But for me, I look at it from 1 to 50 where they sit, and you take into account injuries, et cetera, et cetera. Now, if you miss the whole season, sure, different conversation. But there's certainly two or three guys that finish in that bracket that I just find it really hard to see how they're not in that conversation. All right, well, let's talk about the ins then. I want you to give me five players that maybe Robbo didn't have in his top 50 that you would have had in. Well, uh, the first one is Dustin Martin. and Surely he's in there, isn't he? Of course he's in there. Like, it's not even a conversation. You can't go from... Not in Mark Robinson's list, Dustin Martin. No, I've looked three times and I cannot find the name. I actually can now... I get what he's done. Um, He's missed a few games, etc. But that is impossible to leave him out. When I did my top 50, I had him sliding down to about six, um, which maybe even is too high. We don't. I think a fit Dusty, we don't think, is the sixth best player in the competition. But I couldn't believe that one. Now, I know I'm the biggest Brady Grundy cheerleader in the whole universe, but my goodness. How... What wasn't in? He, what, how has that happened? Like Brady he, Grundy. He, he gets a bad rap, I reckon, Brady Grundy sometimes, but he's still the second best ruckman in the competition. Now, I've got... I rate Ruckman higher than anybody. As you will know, Max Gorn's number one on my list, and I'm very happy to stand by that. I think his influence is second to none, but I find that remarkable. Um, Nathan Fife, how many games did he miss? So I I think he probably missed maybe seven or eight. Yep, yep. With uh, shoulder injuries, his season was obviously finished and cut short early with shoulder injuries. He's not not in Robbo's top 50 either. No. I can't find him. I can't find wow. him anywhere. I, I, again, S3. I've, I've, I've looked this morning to make sure that I've seen him. <laughs> the other two are a little bit different because, look, okay, he, he's my Sydney bias. I think potentially Isaac Heaney is, on his day, as good a player in the competition as anybody. I'm not saying he's the best comp player in the competition. Last year, I'll throw a couple of stats at you. There are two players in the competition that averaged over 15 possessions a game, six marks and kicked over 25 goals. There's only two of them. You'll be able to name the second one pretty quickly if you think about it. It's Toby Toasty. Green. I won't let you waste your time. Toby Green. Now, so Heaney kicked 36 for the year. So he's averaging just under 17 touches a game, six marks, 36 goals. I cannot believe that he is not in that. That, that, that is a travesty. Now, he... I mean, I, I, I'm actually speechless with that one. The other one's Aaron Norton. I mean, I... I would have had him in yeah, too, actually. I, well, he, he's so important to the Dogs. His grand final was a little bit disappointing. Absolutely. But in terms of your, the output for the, for the season, the importance, especially the back end. I mean, he's, we talked about it every week here with Tim and yourself. Like, his last six or seven weeks were extraordinary. His future is very bright. I certainly didn't have him anywhere near the top 15, but... He was about 33 for me, absolutely vital. And 
and I could probably add a few more to it, but they're the big five. Okay, so five come in. Who, who are the five that you're taking out? Who are the, who are the blokes that Robbo's had in there? You thought, hang on a second. Well, I think Henry's a very good player. Um, I Chuck like Henry him. from um, Geelong? Yep. So yep, he was sitting 39, a, is that correct, in Robbo's yeah, 50? he's not in the top 50. He, he, he's a bit stiff. Now, this, I like this next guy, and I thought Paul Seedsman's first half of the year was exceptional. He, was, he, he almost had a career year. But I can't put him in front of any of those blokes. So Seedy just misses out. He falls in the 50s. Same with Carl Amon. Had a very good year. And he's rated so highly at Port Adelaide. But is he in front of those guys? I, I don't think he is. No. Now, Tex is a bit stiff. Um, I, I've left Tex out. He had a terrific year as well. Start, but I, great I based start to on the year. Fantastic start to the year. And uh, he written off by all channels. A bit like yourself. Um, you know, you've certainly had your long share of critics of the year and you proved them on which text did but I can't get him in the best 50 players right now in the competition and then Starsevich that was one another good young player I like him but come on Robbo that come on I, I, I can't get my head around that give me is one it, glaring it, one did, give me one glaring one that's in the wrong spot I, I like I, I, I can pick one out but uh, I don't well, know I what I'm allowed to say but, but give me give me give me your one give glaring you two? one Okay, two. I, I've, I think he had Salem at 28. I'm, I've got Salem in the top 15. I think yes, he's the best I like back flanker in the game. He's Look like an awesome beautiful kick at, the, of the footy. at quarter time. I, I, I think Stringer's too high. Had a good year, except that. But the one's Nick Natanu now. He is the darling of all AFL statistical people, isn't he? Like, if you talk about um, his value to the Eagles in terms of the hit outs um, to advantage, etc., etc., etc. Tick, 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 tick. I've squeezed him into my top 50. He is not at 13. And, and I've got some West Coast fans that actually have the same thoughts about Nick Nadanui. I think he's, and he's been a champion player for them for a long time, but he's not the 13th best player in the competition. No way. I'll clip this audio up and send it to Robbo and get his right of reply. But uh, if you <laughs> right of reply, sorry. But if you uh, well, if you caught Robbo's top fifty and you want to maybe have a bit of a say on it, give us a call thirteen hundred forty two fifteen thirty three. Or send us a text, 0437 552 535. Which player is sitting in the wrong position? Or which player hasn't been rated high enough? A player from your team maybe that you think deserves to be in the top 50? This is Jack and Flash on SEN Hobart.